absolute value is just talking about how far away from zero is a number located. So it doesn't matter whether that number is positive or negative, it's the distance away. So when we create or when we simplify and find the absolute value of a number, it's always going to be positive unless there's a negative sign outside of it. Because if I'm asked for the absolute value of 3, well how many spaces from zero is it? One, two, three. So the absolute value of three is three. If I'm looking at negative two, what's the absolute value of negative two? Well, it is two spaces away from zero, so the absolute value is two. So in the context of this tasks, task, it's asking you to identify what values are worth based on the context of the story. And the tasks here are about elevation. So the first problem says, what do these values mean? Well, if I have a 25 feet, and we're talking about elevation, this means it's 25 feet above sea level, because elevation is all about the baseline of zero being sea level. So then if I have 25 feet, the absolute value of it, it's not asking whether it's a positive or negative value, it's just saying this is 25 vertical feet from sea level. That's all it means. It doesn't care whether it was to the right or to the left. It just wants to, us to say that as far as elevation goes, because it's up or down, how many spaces away, okay? Then here, if I have a negative eight feet, that means it is eight feet below sea level. And then if I have the absolute value of negative eight, this is saying the absolute value of this is eight vertical feet from sea level. Again, absolute value doesn't care whether it's positive or negative, it just wants to know distance. Question two says the elevation of a city is different from sea level by 10 feet. Name the two elevations that, that city could have. So if here we're at sea level and it is 10 feet away from this, that means we have the potential to be 10 feet above sea level or 10 feet below sea level. So your answer should be 10 and negative 10. If you include the feet, I'm not so worried about it. What you don't want to do is use the absolute value bars because that is not an elevation. That's talking about the distance from sea level. So that wouldn't be the elevation of the town. It needs to just be a clear 10 integer or a negative 10 integer. So question three goes back to the similar format for question one. Now we're dealing with temperatures and it says um, that negative five degrees Celsius is used to describe a temperature that's five degrees below Celsius. Um, and the freezing point in Celsius is zero. So that kind of makes it easier for the absolute values. And that remembering that absolute value relates to how many places from zero the number is. So if I'm describing what is this representing, this is saying one degree above freezing. Negative four degrees Celsius is four degrees below freezing. Now we have the absolute values, and that isn't about above or below, it's about distance away from zero. So uh, the absolute value of 12 degrees Celsius means it is 12 degrees from freezing. The absolute value of negative seven means it is 12 degrees away from freezing, or sorry, seven degrees away from freezing. We don't care, we don't have to specify whether it's above or below based on the original number, we just care distance. And if you wanna throw in the vertical because the thermometer goes up or down like that, you can just say, you know, it's you know, 12 vertical degrees from freezing or seven vertical degrees from freezing, it doesn't really matter, but it's about placement, not the uh, above or below. Questions four, five, and six are pretty similar as far as the values that we're working with and what we're, what's being asked. So it asks which one is colder? Is negative six degrees Celsius or three degrees Celsius colder? Well, a negative is always less than a positive, so negative six degrees is colder. It's below freezing. Then it's asking which one is closer to the freezing temperature, which is zero. Well, a distance of negative six is six places away and three places away. So three is closer to freezing uh, of that zero temperature because it's only three places away, which is very similar to what question six is asking. And it's saying which one has a smaller absolute value? Is the absolute value of negative six or three uh, smaller? 
And so if we're talking about vertical distance or distance away from zero, negative six is six places away, three is only three places away, so three is a smaller absolute value. So the last question is asking you to determine if there are three different cities and it's saying that the temperature between New York City and Boston was seven degrees Celsius difference. And then the difference between Boston and Chicago was also seven degrees Celsius. So was the temperature in New York the same as Chicago? Why or why not? Now we might jump to the conclusion, oh, well there's a difference of seven and it's, it's all the same number, so the temperatures must be the same. But to really understand this, it's good to, when you don't know, start plugging in some numbers and test out your theory, because you might have an idea of what's right or not, but until you can prove it with some numbers, it's hard to definitively say yes or no. So as far as your explanations go, you can always give the, the template or the, the trial that you had run through as your evidence to support your answer. So if New York, let's just say, it is seven degrees, okay? So Boston, if it is seven degrees different from New York, well, does it specify whether it's seven degrees greater or less? It doesn't say, it just says that there's a difference of seven degrees. So that could be seven degrees less, making Boston zero, or seven degrees more, making Boston 14. Now, if we go to Chicago and say, oh, well, if Boston was zero, Chicago, if it has a difference of seven degrees, it could be seven degrees less than New York, or sorry, Boston. So it could be negative seven, or it could be seven degrees more. So it could be the same temperature, but not necessarily. And if New York had gone up, or if Boston had gone up above um, New York, and then I added seven more to that, I could have 21, or I could have seven less than that, which would be seven. So they could be the same, but they could also be different. So we don't know, okay? So this is the type of things, if you want to prove, I think, Let's plug in some numbers and see which way it could go. Always make sure to include both positive and negative integers um, unless it's specified seven degrees above or something like that.